Hello. And we are live. I hope we're live. What a morning. <laughs> Poor old Leanne, I think, broken out into a cold sweat witnessing the uh, meltdown that was occurring here five minutes ago. How are you, girls? We have struggled with internet again, and then yesterday the power went because the boys were here for the renovation. So, um, Leanne, you're going to have to give me the thumbs up to let me know that you can still hear me. Yay, good old. Hello, girls. I'm Anita from Sequins and Sand. It's lovely to have you here today. Just I'm really excited. Guests. So, whether you are joining us live right here, right now, to hear the lovely Leanne talk to me about her beautiful linen dresses, or you are joining us on the uh, recording, hello, a big welcome. We do this every Friday at 12 p.m. for Vegas time. It's our lunchtime live series, and it's all about your summer. And uh, there's nothing more confident than a woman who has no inhibitions. She just gets out there and she lives life to the full, lives her promise to the full. And I know that many of you love your linen dresses and I know how bloody hard it is to find any in plus sizes, particularly from size 16 up to 26. That's where this collaboration with Linen with Love has uh, kicked off and evolved, and that's why we've done it. I'm really excited about also introducing you to Leanne today. She is the maker. So this is our Meet the Maker. Have that the first one? We're going to do more, but this is our first one. Um, so without any further ado, let's talk linen dresses with Leanne. I'm just going to scoot to the side, make sure we're right. Okay, Maria, Kim, and Marion, thank you. Thank you, Marion. I'm not call you that. Oh, Maz. Maz loves these linen dresses, and you'll see why when you go to the website. She modelled them for us recently. But Leanne, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> welcome to the mayhem, um, girls. Just give me the thumbs up if you can see both uh, both of us on your screen. Just let me know how that's going. Um, so Leanne, uh, you and I have collaborated to bring the girls these amazing linen dresses. You've been making linen dresses in your business in Australia for how long now? Two years. We've just had our second birthday. Woo! -hoo! Second birthday. I love that. So another fantastic boutique um, label here in Australia. And uh, Leanne, I might sit down and be quiet for a bit and you can tell us your story. Why Linen with Love? Okay, thanks very much, Anita. Um, well, hello, ladies, and thank you very much, and thank you very much to Anita um, for the opportunity for the collaboration because um, Anita and her cosy confidence passion is exactly why um, Linen With Love was born. Um, I, just a bit of background about me, I was actually, I'm a, um, an ex-army chick, I was in the full-time army for about 26 years. Um, my husband over 30 years and our kids, some of our kids are in the army. So a bit of a military background. Um, I actually had to get out of the army because I um, sustained a number of injuries that um, adversely affected my health uh, in, a, in a pretty major way for a lot of years. And um, consequently, I put on a heap of weight. And so when I got out of the army, um, I was looking for um, something comfy and and, and, and I love linen and something comfy to wear. But what I was finding was that um, a lot of linen pieces I, buy, I was buying was um, actually composite linen. It wasn't real linen. It wasn't a natural fibre. It wasn't being ethically made. It was, you know, being imported, um, which is no problems because, of course, I have my stuff imported. I, import, I have a beautiful team of makers. Um, we source our Italian, just so you know, ladies, we source our Italian, our French linen, and that's why I refer to it as European, um, from folks in Sanua in Indonesia. And I have a beautiful team over there um, of seven ladies and a couple of cutters. And um, uh, we're in Sanua. We have a beautiful home in Sanua that we do it in. And we make sure our ladies and, and gentlemen are looked after well. Um, both their families are, you know, from a wage perspective and um, a benefits and all that sort of stuff. And it's more a family rather than a business. And I actually sourced these guys through the Bali International Women's Association because I wanted to make sure that we weren't 
um, and I hate the term, but I'll use the term sweatshop. I want to make sure that we weren't, um, um, you know, compromising on anyone's health and safety in the way that our stuff was made because I'm really passionate about that. So, um, and so much so, we've actually, um, we've promised to donate $1 a piece, or we've not promised, we do donate $1 a piece of every piece that we sell of our linen um, back to the Bali International Women's Association who do amazing work. Um, I'm actually volunteer with them and they do amazing work in um, in, in, uh, in Bali, um, particularly with women and children, underprivileged women and children. And we've just actually built a toilet block in Sukawati um, for 330 Australian dollars, a toilet and shower block for kids in a school in Sukawati. So that's what the amazing power of this $330 can do um, in donating back and giving back to the community that make it. So as I said, Anita um, got out, um, couldn't find stuff that um, fit me because like many of you ladies, I'm actually an 18G and I'm, I'm not bragging because I, if I didn't have them, I'd be very happy. But I do. I have these big girls that sit on the front of me that I can't <laughs> And it's true, Anita. So, um, so I thought, what am I going to do? And we were in Bali uh, in Sanur and I met um, this lady who I subsequently found out was doing beautiful work. She made a couple of pieces for me. I came home, wore them, and everyone, a number of ladies said, where'd you get that? And I said, oh, I had it made for me and I designed it. So that was actually the start two and a half years ago of Linen With Love. Since then, we've sold over 2,200 pieces and I think we've had two pieces back. Um, it is 100% natural linen. It is throw up in the washing machine, hang it out, up with the pegs, not with the pegs you can see because if you don't want to iron it, you'll see your peg marks. Um, I've got a piece here which is one of my, thanks, Bonnie, one of my original pieces and you can see um, here just how soft she is. This is my my original Nina that I wear and um, I throw in the washing machine. As you can see, I don't iron her. I love her. I can wear her to the beach. beach. I can wear her down the street. Um, yeah, all that sort of stuff. So that's that's why she was born. Um, I, think, I, think um, I, I think that's a really good point that you make, Leanne, because a lot of women think linen and they think, oh, I've got to iron the bejesus out of it and I, I don't like it being crushed. So you make a really good point that if it's 100% linen and good quality linen, over time it will soften um, and it will become, you know, buttery soft on your skin and then you can roll it and pack it and not worry about it so much. It's so true, Anita. Um, funnily, because I'd never actually experienced real linen myself or proper 100% linen. And when I found this and I went looking for the equivalent in Australian shops, which I did, and there's a number of boutiques um, around, I'm sure you ladies all know them, and they're beautiful little boutiques. And, and I understand why they've got to charge the prices they charge. But for something like I sell in European linen in a boutique, you are going to pay, because I've paid it, Four or five hundred dollars, and I'm sorry, that's not affordable, and you know I can't justify it. So that's and the other reason why I really want to do something like this because I just think you know us more voluptuous, bigger, more prosperous ladies deserve to just have just as nice things as everybody else. But unfortunately, yeah, it is so expensive; it's cost prohibitive, and so that's you know that's what I'm really passionate about keeping it affordable. You know, as long as I can, and if DHL and our carters don't increase their prices anymore, I never want one of my pieces to be over two hundred dollars. We have mm -hmm. afterpay for ladies that need to save. I get that not everyone can afford one hundred and sixty nine dollars for a linen dress, but what I can promise you is that it won't shrink. You know, I haven't had any return ever. From shrinking you throw it in the washing machine and as you said Anita the more you wash it the softer it gets now don't get me wrong if I'm going out at night and I'm wearing my Bessie which I have on I'm going to style for you in a minute um, I'm going to iron it I, I want my collar to sit up I you know I'm going to put an iron on it I you know I think it looks a bit funky but if I'm going to the beach it doesn't matter and when I pull it off the cotton line and and shake it out hang it and wear it to the beach it doesn't matter if the collar doesn't stand up do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's, I I guess that's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. So we've collaborated on, and you, you mentioned her name. <laughs> we've collaborated uh, to bring you girls the Bessie. So this is a new cut for Leanne. She very kindly opened up um, her, opened her mind to the possible, which we're big fans of here. And we have, uh, collaborated to bring you Bessie and the idea behind Bessie was to uh, create a dress that you could wear to the beach and then you could also dress up because 
less is best when you do get out and about. And even from a cost per wear point of view, you know, you want to get good value for money from anything. So to be able to get that versatile dress option in sizes up to 26, and we'll talk about your sizing as well, Leanne, because that's a little bit different too. Um, but the Bessie was born. So do you want to take us through what Bessie looks like, Leanne, and what her features are and why she's so special? Okay. Um, so before I do, Anita, I guess what I should explain to the ladies is that um, you actually have um, very limited edition Bessies up there because when we started the collaboration, you and I really want to give um, the most opportunities to all ladies. So we wanted to cover all bases. So our original thought was let's do a short sleeve, let's do a long sleeve, let's do a half button through and let's do a full button through. But when push come to shove and we started, you know, actually putting the money out and all that sort of stuff and then thinking about our ladies. Ladies are ringing me and saying, you know, what do you think? And to be honest, I guess that's where, and I feel really bad because I maybe forgot to tell Anita, that in my next order I thought, well, you know what, I don't want ladies to be spending money, but there will be some ladies that don't want full button throughs. Don't get me wrong because the half button through has got a gorgeous little tuck which I'll show you and some ladies don't want to wear their, their Bessie tied up at the front. So... Originally, we had the half button through, which clearly you can't tie at the front. Now we have uh, the last batch we got were full button throughs, which clearly you can tie at the front. So we had that. Now the last batch I've got were full, all full button throughs because I was wanting later to have that, ladies to have that versatility. So that said, Anita's got um, a whole heap of the half button throughs and a few of the full button throughs. I've got some full button throughs. But at the end of the day, if you whatever you want, you let Anita know or you let me know and, and we can do it for you. That's the beauty of having our own little team. You know, the thing that my ladies love at the moment is I've got a number of ladies, my, my best customer, and I'll shout out if she's watching, um, Norma in um, San, San Juan in Puerto Rico, um, got her Bessie this morning and she is a um, uh, purchase of her Bessie because she must have been watching me sneaking them online before the live. Um, that put her up as my number one purchaser. And, and it's just crazy because she buys it because she knows the quality, the wash and wearability and the versatility. So I think she was talking to me about getting a short. She's now got a long. So, but at the end of the day, I've got a number of ladies that have got bigger arms. We can do specific sizes, colors, styles, and you can do that through Anita as well. So that's the thing. Um, our Bessie is our biggest piece. So we talked about sizing Anita. I actually think I've actually got a size four on, which we're saying is a size 18. But as you see, it's really, I'm oh, sorry, I'll just lift my camera here so you can see it, girls. It's really quite um, oversized on me and it's meant to be oversized. Can you see that, Anita? Yeah, well, you can see it kind of from the waist up, Leanne. Well, there, so I'll just move this down a bit. Yeah. Oh, of course, the camera's not gonna, going to um, let us do well, that. While so. Leanne is doing that, I'll just recap that really important point that she made is that there's three styles available in the Bessie. You've got a short sleeve with a half button through to the waist. You've got a long sleeve with a half button through to the waist. And you've got a long sleeve with a full button through to the hemline that goes, you know, to around your knees. So there are three styles and you can get them uh, through through both of us. We'll work it out. So they're all listed on the Sequence and Sand site, and Leanne's got them as well. Oh, it looks like she's ready to go. Which one have you got on, Leanne? What are you wearing today? Well, I've got the white long sleeve full button through, and the reason I've done that is because I want to show the ladies how once they're finished at the beach with their long sleeves and sun safe and their big pockets and a beautiful deep you see that? Um, Detailed pleasing on the back. Yeah, um, that's lovely. Yeah, sorry. Once they're finished at the beach, they can then um, style it in a different way for evening or afternoon or picnic or barbie. And I've actually been wearing my besties a lot like this. I've got a maybe one, or I may have one or two. So we do that and then we tuck it in. You can have it down if you want to have the long look, but I actually prefer it tucked in. So I just tuck it in at the back there. Whoops, there we go. And then we pull it out a bit, however you'd like it. So at the back there. And then we can throw our bag. And we've got our, our bag. I don't know whether you can 
fix it however you want, have it longer, shorter. Well, you can see that, ladies. Change our necklace. We're going to um, we're going to a flash little do, so we put a little different necklace on. Yeah, so um, yeah, just just a different styling option, ladies. So that's the versatility, I guess, of what what we're trying to achieve for you with value for money with Bessie. Can you see that, that Mila? Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks fantastic. Go. That's probably better. A little space here, but anyway. So, yeah. yeah. Does that, no, that's that... great. So, versatility comes through. Sorry, Leanne, some of the girls were just telling me there's feedback on my voice. So, I apologise, girls. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that. Let me just see if I can go into my mic and... Yeah, I'm not sure how I cancel that. So I'm sorry, girls. Is that reverberation still happening? Flick, can you let me know? Yeah, when I speak, it's making a strange sound. Mm. Okay. Let me know if that's any better because I brought the phone closer to me, but I'm actually using my computer, so I'm not sure. Facebook says it's still bad. Okay, great. Leanne, you're going to have to do all the talking because when I talk, it doesn't sound so good. <laughs> Ah, so it's not doing... So that was really good. So there you styled it, um, tucked up. So if you had the half um, half button to option, how would you style that? Ah, uh, the half one. You could still tuck it in and pull it out because it's that long, doll that, you know, with a belt, particularly for the, the, the less voluptuous ladies. Um, and a lot of those ladies like having oversized stuff. Um, some of the sneaky ladies that have already been on, I'd say not sneaky, clever ladies, because I actually loaded all the stock on before our live so people could access it. And as we speak, I notice stuff's already stuff's already going on out. And and some of them are my regular ladies. And um, you know, it's up to them whether they want to have it oversized or not. But because it is so long, you can tuck it in and blouse it, or you can have it all tucked in and have it really nice with a slim belt. Um, I don't have a waist, unfortunately. I'd show you that. But, but you're not going to see anything because I don't. And that's why, yeah, I guess I do it the way I do it. But, you know, not all of us can be lucky. I I have um, very nice ankles apparently, my husband says. <laughs> anyway. That's very good. I'm just going to try one more trick. I've just thought of something. I'm going to try and switch uh, Wi-Fi. This is probably why I've really never done technology before, Anita, because I can't, I have no idea what you're doing. I was lucky enough to press a little button that said, come into the, the little showroom, and here I am. So thank you, Anita, for introducing me to this new world, because down in sunny Eden, on there the we go. Coast, don't have that. I'm just going to turn off my hotspot. Right. Is that any better, girls? Okay, so we got some questions here, Leanne. Felicity. Hi, Felic. Lovely to see you. Leek actually modelled one of your, um, we said, go, okay, so we're going to backtrack. There's so much to tell you. Um, when we did our Cosy Confidence shoots this year, Leanne was kind enough when we first started collaborating and things were going nuts, you know, trying to get as much done as possible in a short time, um, gave us some samples for the girls to put on and some other dresses. So, Click bottle those and fell in love, which is why I'm sure you're tuning in today. Oh, still no better. Great. All right. Um, so, um, Flix asked Leanne how tall you are. How tall am I? I'm 167. 167. There we go. I'm 167 and I'm 93 kilos and I'm 124 centimetres around the gills. And I typically fit into a size four. So just on the sizing, ladies, everyone asks why I had my sizing. The reason I, I did the sizing I did because I was sick of going into a shop and being told, oh, we don't have anything for you or we don't have an extra large or a 2XL. So I thought, you know what, if I'm going to start this, trip, I'm going to own the sizing. And the amount of ladies that say to me, oh, my God, I won't be a two because... To be honest with you, take it back at the very beginning, I only started my label starting from size 14. And my husband said, Leanne, you can't do that. Little little ladies will like it. I said, no, 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 there's enough out there for little ladies. And he went, 
no, but you're not being fair. And I said, well, you know, this is about looking after bigger ladies. And to be honest, what's happened is I've now introduced a double zero sizing. And a lot of my ladies say that there's lots of stuff out there, but it's not quality linen. And I understand that now. And in fact, my sizing is that generous that my double zero ladies, and they'll be laughing when they hear this, I say my double zeros are from eight to 10, and my double zeros are usually too big for an eight to 10 lady. So I'm thinking of introducing a triple zero. Because my four, I'm a four and I'm an 18, 18 G. So if you go backwards, a three is going to be an Aussie 16, a two is going to be an Aussie 14, a one's going to be an Aussie 12, 10, etc. But they're very generous. Our focus at the moment is four and up, isn't it, really? That's what you've got the most stock of. So you've got, so the girls don't get too confused, you've got size four to seven. Sorry, I should have explained that. Yes, sorry, Anita. So, so size four is 16, 18, and a five is. We think around a 20. No, in fact, to be honest, I'm going to muck you up here now. So the four, I'm in a four now. This is an 18. This is going to fit a lady 2022. 20, if you have a look on the web, it's up to, I, I can't remember, uh, I think it's about 164 centimetres armpit to armpit. So that's going to fit maybe up to a size 24 lady. So in all honesty, our seven, four, five, six and seven, a seven will probably fit up depending upon whether it's the girls, our ladies are more voluptuous in or further down, um, you know, it could potentially 26, 28 and sometimes 30 because it's just so big. It's so generous. And, in fact, good point, Anita, because the, the Bessie, we actually didn't do in little sizes and that was why I did my first video because I had all my little ladies saying, can I have a Bessie? And I'm like, I'm sorry. The collaboration we did was just for Anita and our 18 plus ladies. So I didn't have any little Bessies. And that's why some of your photos with the gorgeous Felicity and Maz and Rit and all the girls, some of them look a little bit big because I didn't do little ones. And we're only started <laughs> because ladies. No, that's all right. We uh, When we collaborate and it's at breakneck speed, we kind of learn as we go and we just do the best we can as we go. And that's all fine. The bottom line is, you know, if you are size, you know, 16 and, and up, you've got a great linen dress um, and they are a relaxed fit um, and that's how we like it in summer because it keeps us cooler. You know, it's all about the airflow. So um, have you got the various, um, uh, how about I show the girls the short sleeve with the half button through because I've got some here behind me. Yeah. That's great. I've got one too of yours but um yeah so that's or do you want me to that's the short sleeve with the half button through can you see that Doug? yep can you see that really well that's good and just flip it around for them so they can see that beautiful back detail leanne it's all these pleating girls and that's what gives bessie her um fullness really from around the bust down because of those pleats as well big pockets the big half moon pocket stone and the pleat, the gorgeous little pleat at the front there, the detail pleating. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Did so you want to show a look at the different? Yeah, no colours. I was just about to say, can we see the colours? So there's white, and what else is there? And then the soft blue, which is gorgeous. Soft yeah. baby blue. And then at the back here, we've got oh, we've got the soft pink. Oh, can you see that one, Dom? That yep. gorgeous soft. And then, of course, we've got black and a navy. Oh, do I have a navy? I don't. Oh, I did have a navy one here. I don't know what's happened. Oh, I've taken the navy one down. That's all right. I've got a navy one. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Dom. There's the navy. So in the shoot, we had uh, the girls in... Um, I think Maz is in a white one, uh, Rhett's in a pink, um, Rex in a white, Jane's in a navy, uh, Flex yeah. in a different dress in a navy. Uh, do you, I don't do you, know if any blacks in, but there's a great variety um, that the girls are wearing, so you get a sense of all the colours as well. Um, they're beautiful colours. There's those lovely soft pastels and then the you know, traditional white, which a lot of women will love and will go to, and then black for those who like, you know, still love their black, which is good. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to show a little um, styling trick as well because um, I've got some sarongs that are printed 
So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to match a print with the plane? So here's one I prepared earlier. I'm not sure if you can see this and move it across. But this is the um, the pink Bessie. And I'm just going to grab, this is a, a sarong that's really lovely and soft. So the fall is beautiful. And I reckon to put that with the soft pink Betty will just look beautiful. That that's her beautifully. The scarf option. Yeah. I think I've just lost the Bloody internet. I think we've done that. Hello. I'm here. Hello. It's okay. I can hear you fine. Oh, thank goodness. So, yeah, we've got. Um, and there's also um, the blue option in that print as well. So, that's a great addition. And again, uh, with the whole fertility thing, it's great to tell us you know, what the future of the and then also with your little linen dress to judge up for afternoon drinks or dressing for dinner. Um, it was fantastic. Sorry, so, I'm not here. It's very distorted. Sorry. 